Within this video, we're going to talk about all of the resources that you're going to probably want when it comes to using the learning kit, specifically the robotics part of it. Now, there's quite a bit of information in here, so be sure to take notes and also be sure to check the description below for little bookmarks so you can jump from place to place should you need to. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and just talk about what this is. So this learning kit is totally free and it's available for you to bring into your classroom or not and just play with it at home and actually learn how to program robotics. The entire thing is built around the idea that you have no idea how this stuff works and that you wanna jump in as a complete and total new user. And we're also gonna be throwing in a couple cool little tricky tricks when it comes to creating blueprints. What you see on screen currently is the actual blog post. And you can see this was actually posted as of April of 2022. And if you scroll down a little ways, wait for it, right about here, uh, you can actually download the kit for this. So you can click right here, or you can find it inside of the Epic Marketplace. And I'll show you where that is too. If we keep going down here, you'll get a chance to kind of see what each one of these lesson plans has inside of it. So everything from sumo robots, which is a lot of fun, self-driving cars, which are definitely a lot of fun. Um, we've got some collision avoidance as well that's built into this, as well as some remote control down toward the end of this. So yeah, it's not quite Rocket League, but it's definitely a little bit fun. So if we go to the very bottom of this, we can actually get the learning path down here below. Now, you can also find this in another location. So if we go over to that, so these lesson plans that I'm about to show you, you can actually find in one other places. And of course, I'll leave all this information down below in the description. So this is the actual lesson plans. And inside of here, um, we have what each lesson actually is. Uh, you can actually get the course assets. Of course, what we just showed you on the previous page where you can actually download the project. And you have a lesson plan for you as a teacher. And we have the student guide for you that want to go ahead and learn this. And this is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to actually create these robots and make all of this stuff work here inside of the Unreal Engine. So two lesson plan, we have our sumo robots, three lesson plan, we have our self-driving core, four, we have our collision avoidance, and five, we have our remote control soccer bots. So again, each one of these has a lesson plan and a guide that you can actually use to walk all the way through it. All right, so one other thing that I wanna point out before we go anywhere, and this is where other lesson plans are that you can use inside of your classroom or just to learn more about the Unreal Engine. So what you see on screen now is the secondary education lesson plans, and down here below, as of right now, our robots are on the top here, but there are a bunch of other lesson plans that you can use, and they're really built to be just turnkey. So you can take them into your classroom, and we're not expecting you to be a professional at Unreal, or in this case, Twinmotion and Fortnite Creative. We want you to use these to help kind of springboard yourself even further, and because of the way that they're built, you don't really have to be a professional. You can just kind of use these. Uh, it definitely helps to know at least a little bit about it, but hey, we're here to help you out as much as we possibly can with any of this information. So yeah, don't be afraid to ask us any questions. Next, let's go ahead and talk about where you can actually get this project, these assets. So here inside of the Unreal Launcher, what we need to do is make sure that we are in the Unreal section over here on the left. And we're going to come up to the marketplace up here at the very top. So we'll click on that. And then what we're going to do is scroll up or down until we find our search products, that one right there. And what we're going to type in here is just learning kit. And with that, we should get our Unreal Learning Kit right here. So we'll click on that. Now inside of here, you will see this, huzzah. Now yours may or may not actually say create project. It'll probably say free. So I'll go ahead and just click on that. And then you can go ahead and say create project. Now this, it was built in 426 and I know for sure it works fine in 427. There is a funny little bug in it in uh, 5.0. So we'll talk about that toward the end of the video. So just in case you decide to bring it up in 5.0, it does work, but there's something that we need to do to make it work even better. So there's that. So go ahead and just click on the create project. It'll say, where do you want to create it? I would put it anywhere you want. As long as it's not on the desktop, you should be good to go. And the closer to like the root, even better. So there's that. I'm going to say don't create because I've already got one. Um, it'll take a couple of moments. You'll see a little scroll bar come across here and be like, hey, by the way, I'm doing a thing. So huzzah. Once you've actually got it created and ready to go, all you need to do is go back to the Unreal section, specifically back up into the library. So we'll click on library up here at the top. And you should get one down here that says Unreal Learning Kit. And I said, you do have one for 5.0. It's a little glitchy. So we'll get to that in a minute. Let's go ahead and just open this up. You'll probably have a different icon than I have right here. It'll be a, kind of just a generic Unreal icon, but that's fine. It's not going to hurt anything. Just go ahead and just double click on it and open that one up. Now, when you first go to open the project, you may notice that it's kind of hanging at like 45% or like 95%, probably both. That's totally normal. Just let it keep going. It's going to take a little bit. Then eventually it'll open up and you'll see a screen that looks kind of like this. And you may also notice that down here in the right hand corner, you get a little thing that says, hey, I'm compiling shaders, 2000 some odd to go. Like that's fine. Just 
let it do its thing, go get a cup of coffee, take a nap, whatever it is. It's going to take a little while. Or while it's doing that, that's totally fine to continue just to kind of navigate around inside of this world. I will warn you, if you open up a new level, which I'm about to do here in a moment, it will take a little bit longer. So just be aware that it's going to take a minute. So while you're waiting for that, here's the rest of what you'll need to know. As soon as you get this opened up, down here at the bottom, you may or, not, may or may not have this little extra area that I just closed off down here in the bottom left-hand corner. There's this little button down here that says show or hide content. This one right here. It's this little one. All you gotta do is just click on that and you'll see we have our block game, we have our hour of code, we've got the learning kit games and the learning kit robotics. This robotics is where you want to be. So go ahead and open this one up. And then what you're looking for next is this maps robotics. Go ahead and just double click on that. And then you'll have this Robotown. So go ahead and just open this and wait for it. It'll take a moment. And this is kind of like where you want to start when you start teaching this. And or if you just kind of want to see all the different robots that we have built. There's a whole bunch of them in here. Some of them follow lines. Some of them bump into each other. Some of them don't bump into each other. Some of them will follow the lines and not bump into things. And some of them will stay within like a little area over here in the top left. It'll actually stay inside that spot. There's another one over here that just kind of free roams and knocks some balls around. And then we've got a couple of dancing robots up here on the top. So lots of fun little things to kind of play with. Um, I'm going to right click and just kind of drag around here so you can see I can move my camera. As soon as I do that, now if I press the one key on the keyboard, the camera will actually zoom to a very specific location. Two will take me above this one, three will take me to this shot, four will take me over here, and five will take me all the way back up to the top. So this is where you kind of want to start. Now down below in here we have L1, two, three, four, and five. These are the actual folders that correspond with the lesson plans that you're going to be using. These correspond to the maps, to the worlds that you're going to be working with inside of. Now, the other thing that you'll want to pay attention to is that over here inside of blueprints, there are robots. So I'll double click on that one. And you'll notice inside of here, we've got level one robots, two, three, four, and five, sorry, not level one lessons. So these are the actual folders that contain the robots that you'll be using in those corresponding lessons. So that's that information. Something else that's worth knowing is that when you get to the point in the lesson plans where it says threshold calculator, it'll tell you to go up here and go into windows. And then you may or may not be able to actually see this threshold calculator under the editor utility widgets. If you don't see it, that's fine. It's not broken. All you have to do is just right click on this one and come up to the very, very top and say run utility widget. And that will make it pop up. So little thing that's inside of there. So let's talk about that little bug that pops up in Unreal 5. Now, this is not actually it, but you will probably get this when you open it up too. That's fine. You can just say clear. It's not really going to hurt anything. It just has something to do with the texture. So not a big deal. So I'm going to hit control space bar. That's actually going to open up the contract drawer down here below. And we have all of our levels right here currently. But what I do want to go into instead is the blueprints folder. Instead of here, we're going to go into the robots. Instead of the robots, we're going to go into the robot master folder. Inside of the master folder, what we need to do is actually change the way the motors are running. So this blueprint motor, we're going to double click on this. Once this opens up, what we want to do is locate this run motor section. So this top one right here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in to this little area right here because we're going to add in the little node. So to do that, just hold your mouse over this little spot and use your scroll wheel and you can just scroll in and you can use your right mouse if you click and drag to kind of pan from place to place. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a little node that lives right here. Now, if you've never done Blueprint before, this is a great primer because this is going to be like the easiest thing ever. For some reason, inside of Unreal 5, the motors got reversed. So if you played everything, all the robots are going to go backwards, which we're going to fix right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply our return value by negative 1. That's really all we're going to do, and then plug it back in right up here at the top. So to do that, left mouse click and drag on this wire, and as soon as you let go, you'll be prompted with this what do you want to add kind of thing. So I'm just going to type in asterisk, and you'll see we have a multiply right here. So I'll go ahead and just click on that, and yay, now we have a multiply. Now what we want to do is we want to multiply by negative 1, so I'm going to hold control and middle mouse scroll so I can get a little closer to this. Just click on that little field, type in negative 1, and then hit enter on my keyboard. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to connect this to that in velocity y that you see it connected to up above. So just left mouse click on this wire and connect it right there. Perfect. That's all we need to do. Now to make sure that this actually takes, we do need to compile the code. So there's a compile and a save right up here in the top left. So I'll hit compile first, then I'll hit save. Now when we go back into the tab up here at the top, you'll see we've got an extra tab up here. I'm going to just click on that and it goes back to the showcase and we can go back to that actual level. So let's go back into our robot maps, go into our Robotown. 
and I've just used the one key to zoom over to this little spot. And up here at the top, we can go ahead and hit the play button. And now our robot should go forward. Wait for it. Oh, also I have the video running here too. Well, let me just show you how that works as well. So you can see the robots are actually going forward. So perfect, that totally works. Now the video that you see actually playing, um, let me show you how I did that. This is totally unexpected. So yay, bonus tip. Uh, it's actually the blueprint that's running it inside the level. So yay, another blueprint thing. So up here at the very top, um, I'm gonna click on this little button right here. And in here, what I'm gonna do is open level blueprint. Real easy to do, just click on this. And we're gonna get a whole nother blueprint, probably another floating window. And inside of here, uh, yours is probably not connected right here and mine is. So to disconnect this, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and just left mouse click on the wire or either one of these white pins and that disconnects it. Now I've changed the code. So of course I need to go ahead and compile, save. And if I close this, now when I hit the play button, I should have free reign. Yeah, now I can just move the camera as I want. And you can see, again, the robots are going the direction that they want. So there you have it, a real easy way to get inside of running with these virtual robots inside of the Unreal Engine and a way to kind of play with the code if you've never done it before, a nice little primer. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I'll be sure to get back to you when I get the chance.